So the reason why I'm doing this video is because I've noticed that the YouTubers doing this money glitch, they're taking an unnecessary amount of time explaining the glitch and doing just absolutely everything to hit that 10 minute mark, 20 minute mark, whatever. It's really annoying. We don't have time for that. So I want to do this as simple as I can, answer as much questions as I can, and list out common mistakes people do while doing this glitch. So. We're going to go to our garage. What we're going to do first is we're going to get our drag car and pick out whatever drag car you have. When you have when you pick your drag car, make sure it is at least maybe a thousand horsepower or something. Just make sure it does a wheelie because your drag car doing a wheelie is required for this glitch to work. OK, now that you got your drag car, we're going to go to the location, which is Solar Sprint. Um, this one is unlocked. Uh, chapter 5 yeah chapter 5 it's best if you have the Koenigsegg or whichever fast car that easily hits the 249 mile, miles per hour mark because that's a side quest and that's probably the you know the quote unquote most difficult one to get because if you're using a Honda S2000 or an Audi it's not going to reach I've tried so we're gonna go to the location right now just make sure just to show you guys real quick, just to make sure your jack card does a wheelie just like that, you should be fine. If it does not do a wheelie like that, then upgrade your car or finish the game. Okay, so we're at this location. Um, once you get over here, you're going to see the sign. There's like sign to my left and you're going to see the pole with the stripes on my right. You want to line yourself up in between those two. Before we start the glitch, I want to say a common mistake that people do. Usually when people do the willy, they do everything right. The only thing is that the game responds them back to the street and the glitch doesn't work. The reason why it does that is because your nitrous is probably put on all the way in duration or leans more towards duration. You want your nitrous to lean towards more of the power side because if you lean it more towards the power side, it will run out faster and it won't last as long because, you know, it's all going to power. The reason why it responds to you is because the nitrous takes too long to deplete and responds you back to the street and you're not able to do the, the, the glitch. I know because that happened to me. I played around and it seems that this was the sweet spot for me. So you could either put it there or just play around with it, whichever is the sweet spot for you. So now onto the glitch. You want to be over here in the middle of the street or in the middle of this lane. What you're going to do is you're going to hold the e-brake. You're going to rev your engine for a couple seconds after that you're gonna let go of your e-brake you're gonna use the nitrous while still you know accelerating hold the nitrous until it depletes you're gonna have to press R1 right on the blue flame or right before it depletes completely okay so let's go ahead and do it holding my e-brake I'm revving my engine redlining it um, I'm gonna let go of the e-brake and I'm gonna hold the nitrous button so do that, doing the wheelie, that's fine. Wait, R1. Okay, if you do it right, it's going to respawn you back here. Don't freak out. Drive away, and the solar sprint should be up there. It should still be there even though you drive away. That's how you know you did the glitch correctly. Now for those that it probably, you know, probably you know messed up or something the way you know that the glitch didn't work is that it it responds you here right here where your race cars are at that's where you don't want to be at so just get out of there and do it again hold square accelerate or redline it let go of the e-brake nitrous wait until it's depletes r1 it should respond you there so congratulations you have triggered the glitch so we got the glitch and we're gonna get our race car now so go ahead and go to your garage just quickly press enter garage just quickly press R1 don't hold it or anything or you're gonna mess it up so essentially what we're trying to do is when it's doing the countdown we're trying to trigger a text that says event failed once it does say events failed that's how you know that the glitch is you know, mostly completed. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Koenigsegg, you know, because I like it, because you could do the 249 miles per hour. After that, you wanna go outside. 
You want to drive away from the garage and you want to start the race. Yeah, the way this glitch works is that, you know, since we're trying to trigger the, the text, the event failed text, uh, we're going to have to start the race all over. That's that's where the glitch like comes to play because each time you restart the race, it stacks up the the race, the you know the original price or your prize for it, which is fifty thousand dollars or points or whatever you want to call it, and it also stacks the side quest. See, there you go. Hit a speed of two hundred forty nine miles per hour. You know, accept it. That way, each time you accept it, it stacks when you actually do finish the race. So you should probably get around, if you do accept the quests, you should get about 400 to 500,000 points. Okay, so drive a little bit and then press R1 again. We want to trigger that text that says events failed. And keep accepting the side bits. Okay, do it again. R1. Just keep accepting it. Also, one thing we got to take note that you could try to keep stacking it, like keep restarting it 10 times. But after it says events failed once, you're just going to end up losing money. Trust me. Ask me how I know. So we got to go here. No trigger. So start one more time. I think this is the last time we're going to do it. There we go, events failed. So, at this point, just finish the race. And we're gonna be able to hit the speed, the speed pretty, pretty easily with this car. For some of you, you may notice that your thing, or your, your speed, it's stuck at 12 miles per hour or 50 miles per hour. That's what you wanna do. <laughs> that's, what you, that's what you wanna do to reset it. You wanna get into a bad accident. Have the game, you know, respond you where you're at, and it should be able to, um, to also, you know, fix the issue, the MPH issue, because that that's what happened to me. Uh, I was, you know, having a good time. I was like, yeah, I'm getting my money, and then it got stuck. Now, I was like, I was way over 12 miles per hour, but it was stuck at 12 miles per hour, and I was wondering why, until I hit a car. And it started working. So yeah, there's a few methods out there, but so far this is my favorite one because it's not that long and you get a lot of money out of it. And the side the side bits are pretty easy. There are some where it's like drive clean. And driving clean is, you know, very easy. The problem is is that, you know, sometimes there's a lot of slopes and since the Coney Seg is, you know, naturally so low. It scratches the road, you know, it's it's front bumper scratches the road and apparently that counts as, you know, hitting an object or something. So my timer just kept like, you know, restarting to like three minutes and I would have to drive like 50 miles per hour and it was just so frustrating. So yeah, with the with the side quests and everything or the side bets and everything, um, you should get a decent amount of money. You don't have to do the side bets, you know, everything's entirely up to you, but if you don't do the side bets, then you will, you will not win, you know, that much money. And from what I've tried out, cause I've, I've done this like a lot, what I've tried out is that you'll get like between 100 and 200,000 points or dollars or something. Okay, let's check how much I have. Okay, so we have 4,170,900 dollars or points. And we're going to see our profit once we finish this. So yeah, just finished the race. And let's see our profit. So we got 4,619,700. So our profit was roughly... Our profit was roughly 448,800 points, dollars, pounds, whatever you want to do, pesos whatever you want to say. So that's what the side bets already included. If you don't do the side bets, it would have been significantly lower, like maybe 225,000 probably or lower, who knows. 
but yeah this is my favorite method so far if you guys want to know other methods i genuinely don't think there's a better method than this one but just feel free to comment or something i really doubt anyone's gonna see this one but i'm just doing it for fun um like this video dislike it if you dislike it doesn't really matter and yeah it was cool making a video it's been a while all right take care